Let's crack uh, 12 packs <clears throat> out of the uh, Sandicar Rising box that I just received today. Um, I misspoke in the Theros box when I said the left column because I realized that I picked packs from all three columns. Not that it matters, it's not like we're mapping anything in here. But I'd like to show when I crack the box, and I guess I'll open this at some point. Yeah, so... I think I'll crack it at the end of one of the videos or something. Alright, so this is going to be the first six packs. I've been playing a lot of this set in Arena, but I still need to crack a lot more. Uh, I need to grind a lot more. Eventually I'll put some money into Arena just to crack the, the cards that I need for my Naya Warriors build. That's what I'm doing first. <laughs> like the set, uh, I don't think it's underpowered at all. People are saying it's underpowered. Uh, maybe it's because of the fight set standard that it's in. Uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, Landfall was made very, very strong. And I like that. I uh, Battle for Sendikar, very nice. This will be a highlight. I love this card. Uh, Battle for Sendikar's uh, uh, Landfall was really more, not, not much more than a, uh, a limited strategy. I mean, I built that deck and I played it in standard need uh, to craft a whole playset of this guy. I only have one, but I don't have enough on comments to uh, craft this one too. Yeah, and um, I mean, it was fun, but Landfall in this format is completely broken. So yeah, Simic, cool. That'll be for the highlight. And then these cards, which somebody said on the Reddit that when you put all put all nine, uh, they kind of form a big picture. That's that's kind of cute. It's a nice uh, quality. Thing. Mill uh, has a lot of cards in standard. Uh, Throne had a milling theme. Uh, then of course uh, all courses have a milling theme. And so there's a blue-black rogues milling deck. It's pretty good. I've lost to it. And then there's the M21 with uh, Teferi's enchantment. Man, that's a very nice card. I like it. Uh, that deck's been kicking my butt. <laughs> but I did beat a skewed uh, swarm deck today for the first time with a very rough Naya. Uh, Warriors deck, which is great. Bolts well for the deck. Very good card too. Yeah, kicker, kicker is a great ability, and landfall is a great ability. I have three of this one online, and, and I use them for the Naya um, for the Naya Warriors build. And that's a foil. Disenchant, one of the many disenchant. It's, it's nice. And I guess these are not Japanese print. Uh, they're, they look like they're US print. Good cardboard, but I think the Japanese uh, cardboard is always smoother, higher quality. Slightly higher quality. It's just my opinion. It's not like I'm a cardboard expert or anything. Not much of an expert in anything, as a matter of fact. Not even magic. Yeah, second one, that's cool. One of those uh, alternate artwork cards. There's multiple different types of frames in this set. Is this one of the double cards? No, it's not. Clerics. For party, 
Time to party. And this is one of the double cards of lands. The lands on the back. But they enter tap, but that's that's fine. Turn alternative. Gives you alternatives. I like that. Ixal and really warmed me up to double sided cards. Shadows of Innistrad did not, or the original Innistrad. Let me put this this way so I don't steal packs from the Empire. Not that it matters, I'm just doing it to uh, keep the length of the videos manageable. Interesting artwork. Very interesting artwork. Inordinate rage. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Smite the monstrous. Great common card. Yeah, very good. Get rid of something big. Yeah, the black, black, blue, rogues. Nakundu nectar pot. Yeah, landfall is so broken in this set. It's great. I love it. Except for <laughs> facing 400 uh, tokens with the uh, Skewed Swarm deck, which I have done. Got a whole playlist just for that deck from the Arena Games. A few. Of course, the one time that I beat it in a very royal fashion, I wasn't recording. That's how those things happen. Oh, foil rare. Cool. Okay, next to last pack for the We'll open the uh, the expedition thingy. Expeditions for the masses. Gotta open it carefully. Let me see. Don't want to damage the card. There we go. And I think it is. Oh wow! This is the money card. Well. I'm not complaining about that. Let me very carefully put it over here because that's a super money money card. And uh, yeah, I think that's the best one you can crack. Well, there's a happy customer. Of course, the fetch lines are just <laughs> are so annoying uh, because uh, Wizards has decided to turn them into a money bank. I have a I wrote a little article in my blog. Uh, which is linked from my channel uh, about that, how they've really turned it into a money printing press, which is what they should do. They're a for-profit company. They're not idiots. And it's also good for the game. Uh, but yeah, they it's, it's really uh, gatekeeping modern for a lot of people. Oh, and there it is. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, so broken. It's not even funny. I uh, yeah, I wrote a little thingy on Reddit saying, "Hey, you know, why don't you don't you guys don't you guys think it should be banned?" And of course, all the people who know so much more than I do said, "No, your deck isn't that good," which is true. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's good. Speak of the devil. And uh, yeah, this has been a pretty co cool pack crack. Just for historical reasons, I wanted to own one. Uh, it just goes crazy so fast, so fast with mutate. Oh my god! And yeah, there you have it, a money card. And I'll get on with the other uh, six packs in the next video.